right, so I got to Toronto. Um, they have a really cool Airbnb. It's like a ridiculous place. Um, and I have located where the um, Toronto Reference Library is. And so I should be good to do everything for TCAP tomorrow. So I've stopped to get uh, some coffee um, at, I don't know if this is like a chain in Canada or whatever, but it's called Balzac's Coffee. <clears throat> and um, it's like on my regular just black coffee shot of espresso. And then I might wander around a bit. Uh, but I'm glad because I got here early just to kind of check how does the reference library work? Where do I need to like bring books if I'm bringing them to drop them off um, for uh, for exhibiting and stuff like that? And then I think I'll just check out Toronto for the day. So this is something I like to do if I'm ever at a place where um, <clears throat> where like uh, I'm checking out new things or going to be at a convention first thing I do is just like establish like where I need to go so in this case it's like staying at a pretty nice place you know working on um, finding like where from the Airbnb the event is gonna be because I know I'm gonna have to lug a bunch of comics there look at that Canadian flag that's awesome um, but anyhow so I believe I'm kind of directly downtown in Toronto it's pretty awesome um, and I really like the uh, the place I'm staying at um, so now I'm like making sure I know how to get back to that place that I've kind of memorized the uh, cross streets and stuff like that and then I'll probably wander around the town kind of see what all happens but it looks like a huge library um, I'll definitely get some footage of it during the event but it's kind of unbelievable um, how big that library is. It's kind of crazy. So I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a good event. My beard is all bushy and ridiculous, which I like. And uh, I think that's about it. All right, so there's a part of me that wants to do like touristy stuff, but there's also a part of me that's like jet lagged and exhausted and also like just super loving the Airbnb that I'm staying at. So I'm gonna give you guys like a little tour of just like this little Airbnb. Um, it's my first time doing an Airbnb. Um, it just, and I don't wanna sound like I'm all luxurious and rich or something, I'm not. It's just, it ended up being cheaper than a hotel and it's like an entire condo. Um, so I get here and I was really excited to kind of just have that, um, you know, just to like be home from the airport. Uh, cause like the airport's just insane. Like it was just so much, so much time, uh, at the airport. Uh, the flight was delayed by like three hours while we were grounded. So we're like literally on the tarmac. And then the plane just stopped. So we're stuck on a plane for like three hours before we even flew. And then it's a relatively long flight from California to Toronto. But then I get to like this Airbnb and that's what I see. Like there's this window view of like Toronto. And then, uh, you know, basically, you know, in the bedroom, same thing, like a, a beautiful view of like the entire city. Like it's pretty impressive and cool. Um, so I may just kind of chill here for most, uh, well, for a decent chunk of the day and just kind of rest up and, uh, maybe get some food and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I am curious about the town, so we'll see if, uh, if I feel up to kind of looking around and checking out, uh, Toronto as well. But, uh, I have to say, like, I'm impressed by Airbnb. I'm, I've never done it before. Um, and, uh. It's, it's cheaper than a hotel and like way more relaxed. I have an entire condo to myself. So I found out that the needle is like a 30 minute walk from where I'm staying. So I'm gonna go uh, check out the CN Tower. I know they don't call it the needle, but it's so similar to the Space Needle. I don't know. I don't know if I'll go up or not, but go check it out. Got time to kill. Should be fun. Gotta do touristy things. So it was like a 30 minute walk but we're almost there <clears throat> at the uh, CN Tower. There's like a giant 
stadium right next to it. So it'll be interesting to see like what this is all about. I might not eat there depending on the price, but uh, I figure like the trip up probably costs a certain amount. So I'll probably just get like dinner up there if it's doable. <laughs> I don't know if I'll need a reservation or anything. It'll be fun to see. Cool, so I got a reservation at the restaurant. It wasn't totally crazy price-wise. Oh my gosh, this is way taller than the space needle. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow, you can see like the whole... Wow. That's amazing. Oh no. No. Can you see the All right, so I'm at the Space Needle. I'm dining with a beautiful view of the water and uh, of like all of Toronto, and I'm glad I came up here and managed to find the time before the comic convention, because why not? Um, and then uh, I also have like red on my nose from, uh, from a um, mask. dine here, really enjoy it, and enjoy this like stunning view. Um, it's, it's just really cool. It's like a, it's very, it reminds me a lot of the Space Needle in Seattle, except the floors aren't glass, which I kind of appreciate actually. But anyhow, um, so I feel like I've done touristy stuff in Toronto now. I feel like this is kind of the penultimate thing you could do if you're in Toronto. So after this, I can just go to bars and hang out and then, you know, get the con done, which is exciting. Okay, so trying the wine. So, so far my impressions of, of um, Toronto are this city has like a ton of history to it. Um, on my walk here, uh, I passed by like the uh, college. I am a haunted mansion. And it was, it, it was kind of like an amazing thing. Like, um, I think it's like the University of Toronto or something. Just these ancient buildings that have like this sense of like um, just a long standing like academic history. Um, to the city, and it makes sense, it's a huge city. It's just like for me, as a person who doesn't do international travel a lot, it was just really cool and kind of interesting and exciting. Um, and then this is just such a fun experience to kind of have realized that like I could come to this um, tower and kind of hang out, uh, have a glass of wine, a really nice meal um, before the comic convention where I'm gonna sign books and have fun. Um, so, so far just my experience in Toronto, very cool, um, much better than the flight. The flight wasn't so great. But uh, this food's incredible too, so if you guys are ever in Toronto, um, you know, even if you live in Toronto, because I know this, like, coming from somebody who lives near LA, there's all sorts of, like, touristy things I don't do in Los Angeles, 
even though I'm local. So if you're a viewer and you're local to this place, I'd recommend eating here at the 360 on uh, at, at the CN Tower. It's really cool. The view's great. Um, you know, the food is, is pricey, but it's like, I think that like if you include like what it would cost to just get to the top of the tower and then realize you can sit there for a couple hours, have a good glass of wine, have some tasty food. It's just like, it's, it's totally worth it. That was incredible food. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I, I was wondering what this giant body of water we're seeing is, and it turns out it's Lake Ontario, which I guess is apparently the last great body of water. So I'm ordering a coffee, and then I'm gonna head back to my Airbnb so I can meet with my publisher. talk to some librarians, which I'm supposed to do around four. So my only worry is I'm terrible at pitching. And so I hope I don't ruin their pitch. <laughs> that's that's the, the hardest part of it. But we'll kind of see. But I will tell you, um, the view up here is incredible. I mean, the service is great. The food is great. Um, I, I don't know, uh, again, like, kind of makes my first day in Toronto incredible. <clears throat> now I'm going to the observation area, and uh, here we go. So yeah, the observation deck thing was really cool. Um, you got to see the regular observation deck after. Uh, it was pretty. It was a pretty good experience, and I feel pretty good about it. Um, yeah. So now I'm gonna get out of here, get back to my uh, Airbnb. So that's gonna do it for my like Toronto tourism stuff, which is super fun, honestly. I'm never really against the idea of doing like, you know, sightseeing adventures and stuff like that. It's always fun, but uh, it's cool. It's been fun to be in Toronto. It shows you like a really good perspective of the city and like the whole look of the whole thing. It, it's just kind of incredible. So yeah, I, I feel like, uh, Overall, just like, um, pretty good about just an impromptu, hey, I wonder if I can get reservations at the top of the uh, CN Tower. So now I'm going back to the Airbnb and then um, decompress, do a little chit chat with some librarians about Jacob's apartment, um, which you guys should pre-order if you haven't. Um, and then, uh, yeah then public library all day saturday and sunday monday a slight bit of decompression time that i'll have to kind of chill from all the uh wildness and then it'll be back to it walking back to uh where i'm staying which is about two miles away. And uh, it's not too bad. It's like not too bad of a trek to downtown. It's like two miles or something. Um, I love the city. There's an energy to it. 
and uh, that's exciting. So you gotta give credit to Toronto. I mean, it's like a, a pretty beautiful city. There's definitely an energy to it. Um, it's very clean. This is something that anyone traveling from LA is gonna notice about the city. Is it's like super- At the light, turn left onto Richmond Street West. Then turn right onto University Avenue. There's my directions. Anyhow, um, yeah, initial observations. But I, I really like this city. It's a great day, great weather. So this is a pretty incredible building up here. Um, I think it's like a cathedral or something. So pretty lovely area around here. Like the university has all these like crazy old buildings. Um, hang on a sec. There's one coming up here that I saw on my way up to downtown. Turn right. <laughs> You're gonna hear some directions too from, uh, from my maps, but check it out. It's an old school university. This is one of the cool things about downtown is like, you see these like ancient churches, like this Church of the Anglican Church. And it's like right across from a totally different era and time of building. And then that's like right next to like all these giant skyscrapers and stuff. So it definitely has like a lot of charm that kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, a little bit like if you mixed a cocktail of New York, uh, Chicago, definitely has Chicago vibes. Makes sense because it's similar weather, similar culture. Um, In half a mile, turn right onto yeah. Davenport Road. And then outside of that, like, I don't know, it definitely feels a little bit like Cleveland. So it makes sense. Cycle itself probably cost more than my college education but yeah so I got back uh, to my um, room uh, I basically uh, sat out here like by the window because uh, I thought it would be a, like a nice uh, view for uh, for the people we were talking to and then we had these uh, meetups that were basically like um, it was like a, a private zoom meetup um, with uh, the marketing department from uh, from Graphic Mundi and a bunch of librarians. And I just talked to a bunch of people about Jacob's apartment, my book. Um, and hopefully uh, they'll have interest and order it. And um, aside from that, like even if they don't, like who doesn't love talking to like professors and like librarians and like people who are like actually getting comics in stores. Like it's, I don't know, to me it was a really cool experience and a cool opportunity. And uh, now I'm gonna basically, I think there's like a thing at 6.30 that I might try to go to, which is like a kind of like introduction uh, panel for TCAF. Um, and I think that's at the library. So I might go uh, try to kind of attend that. And then other than that, like um, I, I'm pretty much free for the night. So uh, pretty successful day so far. I'm gonna wrap that and see if I can publish this as a YouTube video remotely. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think if this was interesting. Um, I know a lot of this is just like, hey, welcome to my trip to Toronto. And like you saw a little bit of Toronto and that's basically it. But that's my first day of uh, TCAF, like the TCAF trip. And so I figure it's kind of comic appropriate. Um, so anyhow, if you haven't, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments um, if you guys have ever been to Toronto or if you live in Canada, as I know a couple of my viewers uh, do, like what do you love the best about Canada? Um, also, if you can in the next few days, um, let me know what should I try while I'm in Canada? Like what's the one thing that I can't do um, uh, uh, you know, elsewhere? So far, I've just been really impressed. So yeah, so that'll do it. And I'll uh, try to do updates, um, you know, 
uh, throughout the convention. I'm guessing tomorrow after the show, I'm gonna be like completely exhausted, but we'll, we'll kind of find out as we go.